Hi everyone, it's great that you've all joined us here today. My name is Donica. And my name is Lisa. And as an Oblic community, let's really spend this special time together and just grow in faith and hope as we read and listen to what the God, God has to say for us on this wonderful morning. Mm. So today we're going to have some prayer. Mm. As Lisa said, we're going to have some scripture that she'll read twice and pause in between to just let it sink into our hearts. And then we'll have a small personal reflection and then we'll conclude with some prayer. So we'll begin with some prayer in the name of the, the Father, Father, the Son, Son the, Holy the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, we just ask that you just enter into our hearts, our minds, wherever we are, whatever's going on in our lives. The Lord, that you come and you speak to us. So God of the ordinary, we praise you. You take the drabness of our thoughts and brighten them into vivid imagination. You take our everyday lives and transform them into holy, precious moments. You take our mirage offerings and multiply them into abundance of delight. Extraordinary God, you light up our thoughts, our lives, ourselves with the wonder of your call. We praise you. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. And today's gospel reading is taken from Matthew 14, 22 to 36. And then he made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he dismissed the crowd, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat by this time was many furlongs, distance from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came back to them, walking on the sea. But when the disciples seen him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. But immediately he spoke to them, saying, Take heart. It is I. Have no fear. And then Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, bid me to come to you on the water. He said, come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, O oh man of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. And when they had crossed over, they came to the land at Genesaret. And when the men of that place recognised him, they sent around to all that region and brought to him all that were sick and besought him that he might only touch the fringe of his garment. And as many as they touched it, it was made well. And this is the word of the Lord. And then he made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. And after he had dismissed the crowd, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. 
When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat, by this time, was many furlongs, distant from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them, walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost! And they cried out for fear. But immediately he spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I. Have no fear. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, bid me to come over to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, O man of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. And then when they had crossed over, they came to the land at Genesaret. And when the men of that place recognised him, they sent around all that in that region brought him all that was sick and besought him that they might only touch the fringe of his garment and so many as it touched it were made well and this is the word of the lord thanks be to god so yeah we're just going to kind of a personal reflection now um, I hope uh, the Lord spoke to you in some way um, and I just really thought there well Lisa was reading um, how we're all called to, to walk on water mm -hmm. sometimes um, even though it might seem risky or dangerous uh, or unsure sometimes um, but to take that, that, that leap of faith um, especially around maybe sharing our faith when we feel called to mm -hmm. to to speak out or to speak to someone or to to reach out in some way, um, knowing that when we do step out in faith, he always shows mm -hmm. up, and even when we do get afraid, he'll always catch us. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's our God. <laughs> yeah, and what a hopeful God he is, and that he he always will reach out our hand. And um, and not to doubt him, not to be uh, like Peter to doubt mm -hmm. and to believe it's written there in black and white in our Gospels. So what an amazing uh, gospel reading this is for us to reflect on and to get such courage and hope from. Uh, so I hope it really speaks to you all today. So we'll just end with some uh, with some prayer. So as we bring our time of prayer to a close, let us just pray together. Mm -hmm. Our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. And I hope you have a blessed day. God bless. Bye. Bye.